everyone uh, starting from this video I like to explain the gospel of the Bible in depth in a more profound way in our previous video we were able to confirm through the scripture uh, that the definition of the gospel is that Jesus is the Christ you know now we are going to explore what is the meaning of Jesus is the Christ uh, for us to understand the Christ first we need to understand the reason why Christ came to the world why the Father sent the Christ to us uh, it is because he wanted to rescue us and to give us salvation in other words to understand why the Christ had to come to the earth we needed to know what problems humanity has from where we need to be saved you know for us to understand the problem of mankind we need to know the original man created by God in the beginning when you clearly understand the original uh, man created by God in the beginning when you clearly understand the original state of mankind we will be able to understand the current state and problem in comparison and that we need to Christ who can solve this uh, when God created us he created the mankind in his own image do you believe it that look at the Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 uh, in fact it's such a surprising description if you have a poor children all four of them all look like you the children resemble their father and that you can see their father through them of course is surprisingly mysterious when we say that we are created in the image of God we might focus on what kind of blessing we received or what kind of characteristic we have however when we were created in the image of God more than any other characteristic we might have the greatest blessing is the inseparable and intimate relationship that we had with God that comes before any other good things we were connected to God and we were reading God that was the greatest blessing Moreover, mankind having the image of God means that you may see God through the man. Can you imagine? It's not something too complicated. Mankind, in fact, was the being that can reveal God. In a nutshell, when you say that mankind was created in the image of God and uh, therefore we have this characteristic and those attribute and ability they are all good however what's most valuable is that from the very beginning we were made as the children of God and we were supposed to reveal God and we were connected to God in an inseparable way we were in, we were in the Father and the Father was in us it was this amazing state that we were created this was the greatest blessing we received God is goodness God is right God is source of all the blessing God is everything all things we were connected to him we were in him that's the primary thing we can understand when it comes to the original mankind being created in the image of God now let's talk more about the attribute of the mankind created in the image of God let's look more into it firstly I have mentioned about this earlier already in Genesis 
uh, chapter 5 verse 3 please look at the verse it said when Adam had lived 130 years he had a son uh, sorry in his own likeness and his own image and name himself this is identically found in Genesis chapter 1 where it says God created Adam in God's image and likeness that means God didn't create the mankind as an imitation that just looked like God but God created us as his children his son that's the main point that's the main focus what does it mean when God first created Adam he created Adam as his child when say that we were created in the image of God that includes numerous blessing but the highest blessing is that we were created as the children of God and being his children we were to reveal God with his image in us at the same time the children were connected to God in a very intimate way we were attached to God who is the source of all goodness the source of all blessing the source of everything this is the greatest blessing that the mankind received. Of course, there is much more to being created in God's image. I'd like to share more through the next video. Thank you.